Hello fam, what's up? Stay calm for now here in gamers.io. Today I'm going to review Access Metaverse. So this is a game we have invested like a, a few months back. We have some uh, chests for our guild. Uh, this is a website. I'm going to play the traditional game. One thing you should know, Access Metaverse is an existing traditional game. And they are porting this and expanding this into a play to earn game with its own economy nfts and all that kind of stuff so this is a lovely game it's like a brawler um like pubg thing but with uh, cartoonish and pixelated graphics as you can see uh it's the development company here is top three mobile publisher azure game with over 2 billion installs and 30 million daily active users 100 games published so you can understand that that this game has potentials the company behind this knows what they're doing it's the first attempt for a play to earn game by azure games and i believe it's going to work out pretty well so uh before we dive in into the white paper and see all that stuff let's check the original game so this is it I have installed here Nox, so I can show you what's going on. So the gameplay is pretty much simple. So better, as you can see, I just killed one. You, you get uh, power-ups. For example, I choose critical. Each time you get uh, a kill or something. You collect these gems. So this is divided uh, into campaign modes. The, as you can see, it's Battle Royale. The circle is getting close and close. So we have this enemy penetration. There's going to be like uh, multiple avatars in order to play and NFT power-ups. So it ended the first stage. Uh, I can restore health, I can train. I can go to the next stage, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, I collect my gems here. Explosion. Boom. Ah. I got him. It's a lovely game, nevertheless. The play to end game of Access Metaverse or Access IO is going to have like a bunch of different games and different modes. You will be able to earn passively through adventures. You will be able to play like uh, Battle Royale, uh, Team Tactics and other stuff, which we are going to see later in this video. And I also have a written review on eGamers. If you like to read stuff, you can go there. It's very detailed. Wap. So this is a mobile game, right? It's not a PC game, but uh, the play to earn game will have uh, some mechanics that are going to be played through computer. So it's not that only mobile. Okay, let's collect this. As you can see, there are 23 people alive. These are actual players, they are not bots. This game has a lot of players, so this throwing style is really, really good. Check this. I throw three axes at once. <laughs> you can watch ads, obviously. Okay, so basically this is the gameplay. Let's let's close notes. Let's close ads. We don't need that. All right. So let's have a look at the website. Uh, the first game mode of Access Metaverse is a battle royale game. It's the one you just saw. Here's some pictures. Show opponents your skill and earn Access Metaverse tokens that can be used for upgrading your heroes and items so there's going to be upgrades here we have uh, the human race as you can see oh, i went to the marketplace we're gonna check this later 
Let's go back. There's uh, different classes like ranger, mage. Uh, we have elves. These are the elves like knight, barbarian, uh, ranger, and mage. Class rogue. And then we have the trints. Uh, I believe they're going to introduce more if I'm not mistaken. So it says how to earn easy. You obtain heroes. Uh, it's going to be free to play, but they're NFT heroes. So you, let's assume you get some heroes where uh, the prices currently are actually low. It's not that high from uh, the pre-sale. Let me open the marketplace here. So we have passive mining. Due to natural appreciation of your assets. In purchases, increase in prices. Okay. In-game rewards. AMS token. The token that you're going to receive and which you can sell and get money. Okay, so they have a Telegram Discord. I will have the links in the description. So, seasonal token rewards. NFT farm. Send a team of up to five NFT heroes to the darkest dungeons. Trade your NFTs in the marketplace. Defy instruments. Lend your characters to other players. So, there's going to be scholarship systems. Uh, we are going to offer some scholarships. So, if you are interested in this, you can join the eGamers Discord, link is in the description. So these are public relations and partners, as you can see eGamers is in. Uh, so frequently asked questions, blockchain based meta universe created by Azure Games, Binance Smart Chain, NFT, whoa, uh, utility of the access metaverse token. Okay, we're going to see all this stuff in detail in the white paper but before we go to the white paper let's go to the marketplace price ascending so a genesis human chest is sold for 209 bucks that's busd on binance smart chain let me tell you something the pre-sale the private sale for genesis human chest was 150 bucks so we basically get this for 60 bucks extra which is a very reasonable price if you consider that in other games uh, NFTs get appreciated like a thousand percent and people are selling this 10 or 20 times more than what they bought this. So it's still a good time to grab a chest. A chest contains five heroes, five random heroes from uh, the race, human race. Uh, excuse me, it contains four, not five. So you might want to grab two. So this is it, hundreds of Valorant. Uh, it will drop four random out of these five. And if we check the wallet, this is the eGamers wallet. This is 50 chests. These are the elf chests. Uh, we also have a bunch of human chests elsewhere. So we're going to be able to offer scholarships and lend you guys these assets in case you don't want to buy them you can get a scholarship play and use the earnings to buy your champions okay now let's get to the white paper we have the article on eGamers which is very very detailed but for the sake of this video i'm going to check the white paper here so azure games top five mobile publisher all right Blockchain based metaverse game, mobile battle royale game where players run along different arenas, throw axe at each other, battle royale, 35 million installs available on App Store, Google Play, Xbox, and PlayStation Store. So, Azure Games, some stats we told, uh, we said about this before. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the lore, like I'm not going to get into the lore. If you want to learn about uh, the history and that kind of stuff, you can read uh, on the white paper. Let's skip to the battle play, to the gameplay. A variety of games of different genres, what I told you before. Unique gaming experience. Okay, so we're going to have access 
Battleground. This is the one you just watched. Action game in which players directly controlling one of their heroes will be able to participate in large scale royal battles. Now we're going to have team tactics, tactical role playing game in which players can assemble a squad of heroes and send them to perform dangerous missions or fight in the arena against squads of other players. Then we have Kingdom Wars, multiplayer strategy, fight for land ownership, build and defend castles, establish resource extraction and production. There's going to be land plots. Probably there's going to be building bases and all that kind of stuff. These uh, haven't been like released yet. We're expecting them to arrive uh, maybe in the summer or something. Uh, I, I think the game is uh, working towards the early private access which is around the corner so uh, it goes in depth here this is the access battleground pc mac os ios android skill based 64 players in the map free to play you can yeah non nft heroes cross platform so you're gonna have attack charged attack special ability and an ultimate ability so battle level and perks during the battle heroes can earn experience and gain battle level the battle level in contrast to the level of the hero improvement works only with one battle and will reset after the end of the match all heroes appear on the arena in equal conditions there are two ways to earn experience pick up experience orbs the gems that i was collecting before get experience orbs from eliminating other players so you have to get the orbs from the ground and you have to kill the other players bonuses experience orbs health vials and artifacts so arena hazards okay danger zone so axel access battleground will feature several game modes PvE, PvP, Gamble Arena. Gamble Arena is where you will place a bet to enter and tournaments. Now, the next game is going to be Access Team Tactics. Four heroes, so one chest, you will be able to play uh, Team Tactics with one hero. So if you are planning on doing scholarships and that kind of stuff, uh, one, one chest equals to one scholarship, but keep in mind that teams must be balanced so you might need one chest from humans one chest one chest from uh, elves and so on so tactical gameplay dozens of futures and abilities campaign mode pvp squad vs squad cross platform so squad picking race yeah you're gonna select the races you're gonna select the classes and the appropriate abilities so it's gonna be like this is more like strategy. You will have to play and come up with your own strategy here. Battle outcome is not influenced not, not only by which team you have picked up, but also the battle formation you have chosen. Okay, so gameplay of Access Team Tactics is in development. That's all we know so far. Now let's go to Kingdom Wars, multiplayer strategy game based on the ownership of land so this is going to be something like a uh, league of kingdoms maybe the detailed mechanic description can be found in land section okay we're, we are going there after authentic strategy gameplay based on ownership found us thousands of combinations of different land properties kingdoms created and ruled by player parties alliances wars okay land ownership yeah it's gonna be nft kingdoms are going to be the alliances that you will be able to form and you can go into war with others so uh we have the chain heroes here these are the on chain nfts so basically the difference is that well, like i told you you can play for free but off-chain heroes, meaning the free ones, you can't be able to earn passive. You can trade them on the marketplace. But they can participate in everything, all right? So we have Human Elf Trint, which are sold already. 
Then we have Orc Undead, Void Elves and Mech, which are going to release with Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. So not all heroes are sold already. Then we have Night Barbarian, Rogue Rager and Mage, which are the classes. And in rarity we have Common, Rare, Epic and Legendary. We can't uh, open the chest as you can see right now, so we, are not, we don't know like uh, what the the rate is going to be so we have the attributes here um, I'm not going to go into details with that kind of stuff if you plan of buying uh, boxes and all these things you should take a look at this like here's the mining power of common as you can see the legendary mining power is like hundreds of times more than the common ones the rare and the epics, right? So the best epic mining power is 207, while legendary starts from 345. Okay, fixed amount of uh, metaverse shards to summon a random NFT hero. So free players will be able to random heroes, okay, to summon them. Evolve heroes. As you can see, up until hero level 4, you can evolve with 100% success level. Each hero has 10 levels. Okay. Alright, that's good. Now let's go to resources. Okay, so heroes land assets, items, gold, AM shard and AM ingot. Let's check the gold. Playing PvE, earning leaderboard, earning tournaments, PvP and earn from your land brings gold. Gold can be used to upgrade items, upgrade heroes, summon heroes and gambling. And the utility of gold is guild governance. So this is going to get used with our guilds and um, managers and that kind of stuff. Now the AMS, which is going to be a BEP20 token. You can buy from exchange, earn leaderboard, tournaments, taking, passive farming, and PvP with cap. So you get AM shard, which is spent on the marketplace, summon hero, exchange for crypto, and utility is going to be LP. I guess when they say LP, they mean LP farm pool. Uh, so access, metaverse, ignore, BEP20, we play the role of governance. And we also have the material token here, which will use governance, upgrade land, create items, upgrade guild land. Okay. Now, this is the weapons and the equipment. You're going to have common and NFT, elite, the elite one. The question here is, will the NFT equipment offer a significant advantage over the common one so like is, is this going to be like pay to win if i pay will i have more more chances to win so let's find out common equipment can be bought in game for the native currency or received as rewards you can get elite equipment by purchasing nft during the drop purchasing nft from the marketplace and through crafting Common, Rare, Epic, Legendary. You can upgrade the equipment also. This is like similar to the players. Uh, equipment system is in development. Crafting will be revealed in due time. So, we don't know. Okay, now we're going... Let's check the lands. Generate passive income. Extracting resources. Constructing. Lands have several features to determine their value in the area, the terrain type, and fertility. It affects the number of resource deposits. Construction. So you will be able to build on it. Mine, pro production, process resources into more expensive ones. Protective. Landscaping. Increase the attractiveness of the land resources to build buildings or craft you're gonna need a lot of resources okay kingdoms players will be able to forge alliances okay so there's going to be kingdom lands and war all right 
peace agreement also that's cool when two kingdoms reach an agreement on mutual animosity they start the war before it is declared a dispute territory is determined each of the parties can claim the right to own a certain territory of another kingdom so land wars you gonna claim the land of the other guild like okay this is kind of fascinating now let's get to the million dollar question how to earn trade your nfts okay mine L let's check this one let's check this video passive mining so you send your uh, nfts to adventures and they come back with uh passive mining okay that, that's the video <laughs> not that much information i guess uh, this will be like time sensitive you will have to wait mining speed of your account depends on the cumulative mining power of all your heroes sent to mine hero mining power is a randomized number generator on hero mint event and stored on chain okay these are the rewards battle for glory its gameplay mode in axis metaverse offer its own set of pvp reward sets season rewards tournaments one vs one and land yeah rent heroes for a fixed fee daily or weekly metaverse tokens Okay, so these are the tokens we told before, uh, AMS, the shards, this is going to be like 1 billion supply, token generation event, there's going to be 0.55%, which is 5 million, 5 for 90, not much. Okay, but it's going to be BEP20, like we told before, rewards uh, from the whole uh, circulation from the whole total supply it's going to be 42 percent team and advisors take 19 percent private sale which uh, i think it was already completed it's uh 14.4 percent i'm not sure if they sold anything everything market and in-game events uh okay ecosystem and liquidity 15 all right two percent for the team unlocked every month starting from the next year advisor same thing pre-sale five percent are talking generation three months cliff ten percent okay so the unlock is really cool here so they they kind of make sure that people won't dump the token the team is going to get their tokens two percent every month starting from the next year which is very good they are going to get this token like in small batches every month after a year um the team is doxed all right so we are not talking about a game here that we don't know the developers or how they perform i've been in contact with access metaverse they're really professionals they know what they do they know how to make and publish games so we are talking about the doxed him, dogs team here. So nothing to be afraid of, even if the token uh, unlock was like much shorter time. So this is the Ami uh, Access Metaverse ingot will be released before chapter two. So we're going to see AMS first and then the other one. Now. We are at Q2, Marketplace was launched, so we are on track on this. Closed Alpha is like very, very soon. These are done, token sale is done. Allowed to redeem hero chest. No, this is not done. So community test is coming and Access Metaverse Chapter 1 is coming this summer. On Q3, we are going to have a listing on Tire 1 centralized exchange, tournaments, gaming guilds, management tools, the fourth and fifth GAO, and tokenization of in game items. Community test of Battler gameplay mode Q4, 
chapter 2 by the end of the year. So as you can understand, the second token will come by the end of the year and chapter 3 will come in 2023. Now smart contracts, okay. These are the partners. As you can see, it's Yield Guild Games see inside. We are also here. And these are some articles. All right. So basically, this is it. Uh, let me also show you the other chest. This one, Genesis Human Chest. We got it early. You can see ID 165. ID 113, 9587. <laughs> We're going kind of ID3. Oh my. We were one of the very, very first to buy this one. <laughs> so look, this is Warrior, Barbarian, Rage, Rogue, Mage. Okay. Uh, I can list this on the marketplace, but uh, I won't. Okay, set my price. Let, let's see. Let's see how much people are selling. For example, Elf Chests. Price is changing. Elf chests are more expensive. Trinded chests are actually more and more expensive. So I think this one went for around 250 or something. And this one cost 350 for uh, four players. The it, price is reasonable. So if you can afford, if you are going to buy in, I'm not telling you to buy. This is not an investment advice. But if you want to buy in and try your luck, uh, you should be able to grab one of each so you can make balanced teams and also you should consider that there's going to be more heroes coming and more classes in the future so they're going to offer a diversified gaming experience so you might have to grab more chests in the future so if you are going to make scholarship or something make sure that you keep some money to be able to buy land and buy the other stuff that they're going to release because like in every play to end game you are going to need that kind of stuff okay so chest sale is finished you can't buy any chest sales right now these were the trends yeah sale is over sale ended Oh, these are the original prices. Yeah, Genesis Trend chest sale was 425 BUSD, 350, 250. So seeing this actually, some people are selling this for a loss. Yeah, people are selling this for a loss. So if that price was where was it? 425. You can buy it for much cheaper. 370, 384, 385, 389. Okay. So you can you can actually buy this from the marketplace cheaper than it was uh, in the sale. So yeah, this is a good opportunity to jump in right now. All right, so this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I'm going to do like more content on Axis Metaverse when it comes out. Uh, if you want to grab a scholarship seat, come into our Discord, say hi, introduce yourself. This is Take Count for now for eGamers.io and see you again in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye, guys.